Talk a little bit uh, about the sea, uh, a little bit of your house, Don, and talk about some of your artwork, actually. Okay, this is one of Don's pieces. It's That's watercolor. Yeah, what you do it. yeah it's watercolor. Mm -hmm. Where was this piece done, Don? Uh, you know, I can't remember. It looks local. <coughs> it's a yeah, big oak tree. it is. It is. That's right. <coughs> I'm just going to do a little pan here of the bookcases and the photos that are behind Don. And there's uh, that's all my Don. family, family and grandchildren. Family and grandchildren, and and then I'm going to pan around to the view from the. Uh, living room that we're in right now. <clears throat> we're looking west. I don't know if this shows, but in the far distance in the center of where I am right now is Century City. That's it. And then panning around the Hollywood Hills, there's downtown Hollywood. Beverly and, Hills. And Beverly Hills is back on the left. And yeah. then these, this is uh, East Hollywood we're looking at technically. Yeah. From the uh, hospital district. Yeah, mm -hmm. where the Kaiser and the Children's Hospital is. Yeah. And then we are up a couple of stories from the yard, which is down below. This is, uh, as we've noted, a duplex, and we're on the top unit. And there's the neighbor's yard back uh, to the left. You might try. Maybe All right, we just hand the room and see. We just. Uh, this is what was to our left when we were interviewing Don in the uh, where the light from the window was coming in. This is the living room, the house that was built in 1924. 24. Is that uh, this painting, the work of someone you know, family? The the it looks like an acrylic. Oh, um, I bought that uh, a student of the uh, of the Catholic uh, art teacher uh, that used to be over here on Franklin and Western. Uh, what was her name? Sister. Oh, I can't think. Bad memory. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. That was painted by one of her students, and uh, I liked it. Yeah, it's lovely. So I'm gonna. This is a 360 degree pan we're doing here. It's <laughs> the dining room. Too, right? We wanted to see. Uh, this is one of Don's paintings. It's of the Arroyo Seco Bridge in Pasadena. It's, this is t doing well. I think you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Great. This is a watercolor. <clears throat> Was that painting recently done? When did you do that? Uh, five years ago. Oh, so quite, pretty, very recently. That's great. And I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the hospital over on the hill, the, the Catholic hospital. Oh, Queen of Angels? Queen of Angels. Right. I think exactly. that's where he might have been born. Yeah. We've interviewed a couple of people who were born there. Yeah, Queen of Angels. Queen of, uh -huh. Which is two blocks from where I live. Uh huh. So. Oh, that's a nice mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, do you want to wrap this portion up? Yeah, I think we'll wrap up here. Um, we're Don, thank you very much for talking to us today. Uh, we appreciate you giving us the time and somebody who has had such a long and amazing history here in Silver Lake. So we appreciate that. And um, we, Is there anything else you want to let us know before we close up here? Well, I just want to say that um, I was a prominent member of the ASID. Uh -huh which was AID before that. I was a member of that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's history. Right, okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. I think that would be really nice. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, come on, please. Are we running? What yeah, do do okay. Now? Just, just tell us your name, please. And you. Uh, my name is Arlene Helm, and I met Don about five years ago at an art class at Barnes Doll Art Center. And um, we became very good friends, and I guess now we're significant others. <laughs> and, <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and uh, we enjoy being together and have a lot in common. And I think he's a remarkable man. He is I a remarkable do too. Man. <laughs> and uh, you, and you I was uh, born and raised in the Silver Lake area, over right. on Robinson Street. Lived there till I was eight. We moved to Glendale for three years and moved back. So I finished up at Mitchell Torina school, went to Thomas Starr King, graduated from John Marshall, and um, we still lived in the Silver Lake area, yeah. and eventually moved away to Burbank. Right. <laughs>
But you came yeah. back to Silver Lake. But uh, I came back after I met Don, and it was it was so much fun to walk over onto Robinson Street and see where I was born. And my friend, my best friend, lived on Tularosa Drive, and to walk by the house where she used to live. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't changed. It looks pretty much the same, except for some newer homes. But mm -hmm. otherwise, and the old place where I was born was what we called a double bungalow then, and my parents built it. And it's still there, and somebody's taking very good care of it, which right. I was glad to see. So now, is that a duplex, a double bungalow? Yeah, duplex? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. a side-by-side, -side, one bedroom unit uh -huh. with a pull-down bed in the dining room, which is mine. And <laughs> we built a better house in 1939 at Armstrong Avenue, up the upper end of Silver Lake. Mm -hmm. And then I had my own room. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time. Yeah. And so, you were a commercial production artist? I, uh, uh, I worked for 55 years as a commercial artist doing art for advertising. Mm -hmm. And I could do whatever was required, whether it was hand lettering, photo retouching, illustration. Mechanicals, but paste up. Mostly you know. pasting little pieces of paper onto big pieces of paper. <laughs> 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 and ordering the right. type. I got very familiar with typography because I had to order it to fit the space. Right. And so on. And when that yeah. ended, thanks to the computer age, when the clients were all doing it themselves. Yeah. And, uh, but that was after 55 years of wow. doing commercial artwork, so and I enjoyed every minute. I always liked my job. Very good. So, and now you're a fine artist. And now I was able to go to some art classes after not having to take care of deadlines anymore, and um, was introduced to watercolor by a very good teacher over at Glendale College. and. Um, so I started doing it, and I just love it. And That's I great. had some success, had my own solo show last year, and I get in some group shows on a pretty regular basis. Mm -hmm. And it's so much fun to do, I really enjoy it. And I've enjoyed the companionship of my friend Don. Yes. Are there any of your paintings right here that we could see? Uh, some of your um, ones? Yes. Yes, I have some. Uh, Are they uh, places? I'll yeah. have to go get them. Okay, okay, <laughs> great. That's fine. Let's do it. We'll be still. Okay, now where was this done? The parking lot, from the parking lot of the Southwest Museum. In the Arroyo. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. You can hardly keep. That I took. It's probably in Arizona. I'm not sure. <coughs> Okay. Okay. Just wanted to kind of get the front of the Okay, house now we're recording. Oh, no. Yes, that's fine. Yes. Okay, this is uh, nine, what is it, 965 Maltman. We're at the front of the house. Uh -huh. it's on, what is the corner of the street coming up? That's Marcia. Marcia. M A R C I A. Marcia. 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 That's where I'm parked. So I'm going to just kind of back up. Thank you both. Pleasure right, to meet okay. you. We should have had more camera time with you. <laughs> yeah, well, glad okay. we got you both on camera at the very. Okay, here we are. This is 965, and a nice shot of Michael Steele. Michael Steele. <laughs> and upper level of the duplex is Maltman, which has become a bit hazardous, and the surrounding houses. I hear a car coming. And now we have to get out of the street. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it.